Like, that shit was crazy. I was, I was, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, man, it, it, it was like, it was like, they fucked you up, son? Man, let's go get some more niggas. Who, who should I send? It was like, if you want to send somebody, basically, you want somebody, somebody get fucked up again, <laughs> one of the niggas you hate the most, send them. You know you had to come back, beat the fuck up, too, because he, he, he made sure he wasn't sending him back. Yeah, they, they beat him, they beat him <laughs> on both sides, man. You see them not send it. Go ahead. Second uh, Ezra chapter 4, verse 28. But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown. Yeah, that evil is sown, all right? When you sow something, you do what? You're putting it. You're putting it in the ground, okay? You're waiting for it to sprout up and grow. So the evil is sown. Go ahead. But the destruction thereof is not yet come. Yeah, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. That's that flower or that 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 corn stock being fully grown, man. Okay? So that evil in this place in this society is in this, that evil in this place in this society is is um uh, is sown, but the destruction ain't came yet, man. Alright, that's why people still riding around, people still working, people still celebrating birthday parties and they getting their Valentine Day plans ready for right now and shit. All the little candy and shit about to go on sale. Teddy bears gonna go up five dollars and shit. All of that is happening right now because that destruction hasn't come yet. All right. Hey, uh, I was watching one of the one of his videos earlier. And they were talking to about Jake. They were talking about uh, they, they started talking about the thief, the Lord being the thief of the night. And his his argument was, well, the Lord is the thief already. And I'm because we not, we not, ain't, America's not destroyed yet, man. Yeah. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no third world. He said Jacob is damaged, he said Jacob is damaged to God of Verse 29. If, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away. Yeah, the place where that evil is sown, if you don't turn back from what you're doing, which we know America is in too deep, like we always say. Like, it really got sown, you know what I'm saying? It really got sown, and that's why it got to be, it, it got to, you got to dig up the roots with it, man, or it's going to be destroyed, all right? And that's what the is going to do, all right? Go ahead. Then can I come that is sown with good? Yeah, see, Jake, they want, they want, they want to talk about the second coming of the Lord. They want to talk about the kingdom, all right. But they don't want America. They don't want to let America go. Just like they, they wanted to be uh, out of that what they call it that uh, rigorous slavery, all right. That when we was in Egypt, and but they didn't want to have to walk through the wilderness. They didn't want to have to be thirsty. They didn't want to have to be hungry to get to. The land that's promised for with milk and honey, man. Jake just want things handed to him on a silver platter, man. But do you even deserve it? All right? So we man, can't... They're not willing to... They're not willing... Jake is not willing to put in the work for salvation. They basically, uh... Like you said, with the wilderness, it's something I always be talking about because, you know, just... You can tell how Jake was in the wilderness, no matter uh, how all that... All that shit that they was going through, and all the all the, the great things that the most high through Yahweh Shai did, um the uh Yahweh Shai through the most high did, they still was complaining, man. You know? Um I'm gonna try to find it in, it's in, in Psalms. You got a whole chapter of the most high saying basically, man, Yahweh Shai was a pillar by day, a fire by night, I split I parted the sea, I did all this, I did that, and you niggas was just complaining, man. That's all you did was complain. You you wanted you got you got angels bread, but then you was like, oh man, hook me up with some meat. You know? I was eating fish and this and that in Egypt. You know? That's why niggas be like, oh, I'm um African, black, black this and black that. But you ain't gonna go back to Africa because you cause you really you don't wanna miss out on America. You wanna be an African American. You know? Uh uh, uh Nate with, with Israel. He don't wanna be a uh he don't wanna be he don't want the Lord to come back. He want Israel in America. And Johanna blatantly said it. He said, he said, you know, he's gonna build up Israel here, man. You know, Yachanan, he he for one, he um using the most I gonna fuck him up off the strength of him putting commercials 
on his on his videos because if you got commercials then you making money off of views okay. which explains why he's doing all these controversial videos now that he's kicked out he basically gave up man and, and, and succumbed to his flesh and, and that's why he always doing videos about and because logically you'd be like damn man this dude you know what i'm saying he ain't saying nothing about this nigga but he's always saying something about gms or apostles because you're gonna get views he want that money and he's telling he's telling the congregation the congregation that follows him he's saying basically you don't need to be giving tights like that or being extorted by the apostles you need to go go to school get an education because you never know when the lord coming the scriptures tell you you've got to hasten in a day you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day you niggas want y'all want uh the kingdom of heaven here until your Howard Shai come back, basically. You know? You want you want a, the, the the pre New Jerusalem to be here. You don't want to go through affliction. Get, uh, can you get that was it Titus or, uh, uh it says uh affliction for a season? Hebrews 11 and 25. That, that's not this one. That, not, oh, not this one? No, it's in the first chapter of like, the city. Look at the first four seasons. This is like a small pitch. No, no, no. Hebrews 11 and 25. Uh, choosing rather to suffer the affliction with the people of the Most High than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. That's it. You know, and all the time, man, it don't have to sin and sin is basically disobeying the Most High, man. You know, sin is breaking the commandments. Sin is also basically not uh, uh, going according to prophecy, man. If you're telling somebody to not hasten in a day, that's a, that's a sin because the Most High said basically, you know, prophesying to the people, you know, make their ears fat, you know, and basically tell them about the downfall of America, man. So to not do that and, and to tell people basically the opposite, that it's going to be good things, um, like I say, uh, that demon, you know, you prophesy deceit, you prophesy, prophesy smooth things, you know, all that uh, loving the black woman. You know, any nigga that fall off is always, they always trying to scoop the women up, man. You know, late, silly women. You know? It's a, a how you show shit to move. That one, and then it goes in, you know what I'm saying? So this is the first chapter of one of them small, but I believe it's Titus. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 1, verse 6. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Amashiach to another gospel. Yeah, because we're getting on the scoffers and the shit talkers. You know, it, it's, it's a wonder that you niggas are so soon removed and it only took a little thing. You know what I'm saying? For, for Yachanan in particular, it took for him to, for the apostles to say, man, stop making all them exposed videos, man. That's all, that's all he needed. He was a one-trick pony, you know? And, and all of a sudden, you get all butt hurt. Basically, these afflictions are going to make or break you, man, at the end of the day. And, and uh, niggas going to break. That's it, man. You know? They say niggas falling out of GMS left and right. You can tell they ain't right. But I, and I always bring up the point that Judas fell off from your house shy. It was hundreds of people. That stop following your Howard Shire when, when, when things got hard, man. You know? Hell, even even uh, Peter denied your Howard Shire, man. You know? But at the end, he, he, you know, man that falls seven times, get up 70 times seven. You know? It says, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Hamashiach. That's, that's what they do. They pervert the gospel, man. Somebody look up that word pervert. You know, and they trouble us every time. Baloo, 
Y'all can not, all these niggas is just scoffing videos, scoffing videos, scoffing videos. They, and, and, and the crazy thing is, the, the way I, I see it, the most high gonna fuck the, the people that watch their videos up is because you can't see that they only talking and scoffing because they feel some type of way. You don't see the, the inconsistency. What was Yaka 9 when he was in GMS? Why was he talking all that shit he's talking now? Because half the shit he's talking about, he was in GMS while it was happening. You, you know, he was up the fold while it was happening. Why he ain't say nothing then? You know why? Because he got kicked out and he's salty. He's a, he's a, uh, he's a, he got that spirit of a woman, man. Gotta get his link back. You know? The strong, the, uh, the work for, for, uh, for Bert, the, the strong G3344, which means to turn around, alter, alter something from its original course, meaning or state to a distortion or corruption of what was first intended. Yup. Not, not telling the Israelites to get the hell up out of here. You, the, the scriptures say be as a pilgrim. And the main thing y'all 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 whine about it is tights or or what the apostles are doing and you want them to stop following the apostles because you don't you don't like how they rock. If you got a problem with it, you just get to step it, man. Cause at the end of the day, they all know that the apostles is on point, man. And the things, everything that they learn, like uh what's the other guy, uh Alize, everything he learned, he learned from the apostles, man. He said it himself, but then when, when he get rebuked and he can't handle it, now all of a sudden they old fools and things like that, and you don't want nobody to listen to him. You know? So y'all pervert the gospel. You got to come up with something. and Because uh, gospel is nothing but good news, man. Not only you pervert the scriptures, but you pervert the image of the men that, that, uh, that are doing the work, man. Because you got a problem with it. That's basically hating on them. Hating on the apostles, hating on GMS. You know? Y'all can not doing a video on the brother in Hawaii. You know? Uh, because, all because he got a problem with the rebuke he received. You know, and, and you can tell this guy is wicked because with the scriptures, what kind of example the scriptures gave us? When, uh, when, uh, what, what happened to David and Saul? You know what I'm saying? Saul, Saul is actually doing David shit, but David refused to put his hands on Saul because he knew he was anointed. You know what I'm saying? So, for Yaganan, he don't care who's anointed and who's not, man. He He's just going to get his lick back. And, he, and, it, and it ain't even, righteous, it ain't even um, a righteous judgment for him to do that, man. You know? None of these niggas, man. You're supposed to just walk your path, man. They don't understand. This thing is very spiritual and the most high is looking at everybody's actions so when you sit there and talk all that jazz about uh, the apostles you, we all know the apostles anointed man whether you think they fell off or not regardless the most high chose them and the scripture said you know you're supposed to treat the apostles how david treated saul man if if you think that you're right in what you're doing you're supposed to mind your fucking business and, and, and do what you and, and, and basically do what's right you know but because you're the flesh you don't opt, you, you ain't gonna move right, man. That's why the, the congregation that listen to them niggas, all these clues that the Most High provided, y'all still follow them and amen in them, the Most High, gonna, you, you're basically guilty of their sins, man. You know? You got something? Uh, verse 8, Galatians uh, 1 and 8, but though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which was preached unto, uh, unto you, let him be a curse. Yeah, Paul ain't never tell nobody to go to college, man. Give me that in, in, in Corinthians. Was that 5 or 20? Or, or 519, the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. You know, he didn't say go to school, go get money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, give me, hold the other scripture that says, get no bags and worry about, take no bags with you, man. You know, but y'all ain't meant that because y'all carnal at the end of the day. You know? One is the Matthew, the other is the Corinthians. You can get the Corinthians one first. You got it? I think it's like 5 or 19. Yeah, 1 and 19, even 2. I'm going to fuck so hard, I need hot cold. <laughs>
1 Corinthians uh, chapter 1 and uh, I start at uh, 19 for it is written I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent okay. for it is written I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and I will bring nothing to the understanding of the prudent where is the wise where is the scribe where is the disputer of this world have not the most high made foolish the wisdom of this world where is the wise where is the scribe